It's Jared and Steven with a new episode of Canadian Gamers. It's only been about, oh, I don't know, over a year since we last did one of these. And we're trying a new format here, so we'll uh, we'll see what happens. I'm joined, as always, with Steven and a crying cat. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, so take it away, Steven. All right, thanks a lot. Uh, I think today we're going to talk only about, we're probably going to try to do mainly one subject at a time now because we want to incorporate gameplay footage and all of that. And basically what we wanted to do was talk about the big Pokemon news that took place, I don't know, I think it was last Thursday. Basically they announced brand new Pokemon games to be released this November, which will be called Alpha, Alpha Sapphire and Omega Ruby, if I recall. And these are basically remakes of uh, Generation 3, which were released on the Game Boy Advance. And that got me pretty excited when I heard of, heard about it, because, as you know, I'm a big Pokemon fan, and a reason to play more Pokemon is always a good thing in my book. And that's was a pre- pretty much the news back then. I know you probably never played the originals. Nope. And you probably don't know the difference between all of them, but that was pretty huge because Pokemon Ruby and Sapphire are known as some of the favorites uh, in the series simply because they were the first time that Pokemon was on a decent hardware. The Game Boy and Game Boy Color didn't were not that powerful, so we didn't have uh, that, a huge improvement of graphics, and these marked the first uh, huge improvement, so that was a pretty... Uh, pretty good start and there was tons and tons of uh, other other elements that made these games uh, pretty awesome and that's pretty much I cannot wait to, uh, to play some more actually I have some pretty cool memories I remember that back in the day I was still in high school when this came out and Marc-André was too and we're so excited about these games that we actually went from time to time we went in the bathrooms and played Pokemon <laughs> You see? Instead of doing <laughs> drugs or smoking cigarettes in the bathrooms like other guys would do, we went there and played Pokemon like That's real what, men. Like real men, exactly. <laughs> so, I uh, can't wait to see... they shown actually some footage of the game this uh, this weekend in Japan, and it was pretty la- last. It was only about 30 seconds of footage. It at least confirmed that the game will be 3D, which is a no-brainer. And I can't wait to see what new... Uh, Mega Evolutions, they bring out what little tweaks they'll do to the game. This will actually mark the fourth consecutive year in North America where we get a brand new Pokemon game. So it, it, it might be uh, might be a, a bit too much now. It might fall into the Call of Duty syndrome, but so far it's still, at least for me, I'm not getting tired of it. So as long as they don't keep a habit of releasing a new game every year, I don't see a problem with that. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm really excited to uh, play these, and I'm hoping you finally uh, jump aboard. But as uh, history tells us, that's probably not going to happen, but uh, hopefully you do. Honestly, the truth with that is, I just need... I, Like, I have to stop doing so many different things. That's really my problem. You'll see tomorrow, I, uh, <clears throat> I've got a review up for something that like I should have covered like what a month ago or something like that my thing is i'm like a a kid in a candy shop there i just i'm I'm going all over the place i really need to like sit down and just focus on one damn thing because like i went and i dug out like uh, my playstation games and it's it's crazy i'm looking right now i'm looking at all these i'm like oh i'm gonna cover that one i'm gonna cover that one I'm gonna cover that one. If I actually wanted to cover all these PS1 games I've got in front of me, we might as well just rename the site uh, PlayStation One because it's gonna take me like I don't know five years to go through all these bloody games. But that's why I, I'm started to say, you know what? Screw this. I'm just gonna whatever I feel like playing. I'm just gonna cover and that's it. And for the new stuff. Like, with this, like, with Pokemon and stuff, I truly want to play the damn thing. Like, I really wanted to play the last one you picked up. And 
it's like, again, there's always something that just, oh, well, you know, I could get footage for this game or I could get footage for that game, and it's stupid. I just need to do it. <laughs> yeah, I think I got you the last three Pokemon releases, actually, and you've played them for maybe three hours. Until... Yeah, I know, I'm a monster. Which is, which is better than what you usually do with, your, with, with, your, with the stuff I send you, but <laughs> still, like, uh, because... The biggest problem for me right now is that I really wish I had like a good laptop because getting a 3DS with a capture card is not that expensive, strangely. It, it might sound crazy, but $400 when you get a new system plus a capture card is not that bad. The only problem is I have a very, very old laptop that can't possibly handle stuff like that. Because I do notice that uh, the quality in my videos is so much subpar compared to what you can expect from uh, regular Poketubers. I, and that would be a great opportunity for me to start brand new with those uh, those new releases, but I just don't think I'll have the money, especially with what's going on in my life right now. We, I don't think I, I can afford to, uh, to buy a brand new computer and a brand new 3DS, but that's just one of those uh, dreams of mine that I might do in the future like in a few years from now but I really 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 like doing those Pokemon videos and plan on keeping at it and hopefully these new games will even uh, add some more uh, excitement to the, that series yeah one of the things I really need to do um, if everything like goes well uh, in my personal life now I'm, I'm really trying to move up the corporate ladder as they say and I uh, promised myself in September I'm supposed to um, basically go before like a board and um, basically see if I can get quite a large promotion and if I do it's funny because I actually have it written down here I was like if I do I'm gonna buy you that uh, that 3DS as a gift for me which makes no sense <laughs> <laughs> because no but seriously because you you really are a really big fan of handheld gaming just in general and forget about pokemon that's only one aspect but you you do you spend a lot of time gaming on uh, on the go like well on the go on <laughs> portables and it would be really beneficial because you you want to cover like a lot of different games and a lot of different things but if we can't get the footage like you would say it looks like ass you know yeah. like and it sucks because now especially now with this new thing I got for uh, the retro games, like, man, the quality looks really good, and it would be badass if we could do the same thing with the uh, with the 3DS. And it sucks, man. I really wish that these companies would incorporate, like, HDMI out right from the, uh, from the portable. That would be so bloody awesome. Yeah, no, for sure it would. Uh, the problem with me, though, is that even though I... I continue to buy some uh, portable games left and right, well not as often as I used to, I still just can't stop playing Pokemon. And that's kind of, a, that's a good thing honestly, if you can buy a game and keep playing it for the longest time, that's good, it's just, it just keeps me from playing other games, but one has to wonder why I keep buying other games where I don't really need to because Pokemon has all the entertainment I need right now, so, but yeah, I really would like to be able to, it's just that like I said, I, I need a, a new laptop. I yeah. don't think I can make it work with the laptop I had. It's basically a laptop that co cost me $400 like five years ago. So even five years ago, it was pretty cheap. So just imagine how much uh, how much outdated it is now. Yeah, exactly. But that's the thing. Like that's what I'm saying. Like if I if I if this does work out, that's what I'm gonna do. I'll get you like a thousand dollar laptop. Plus the 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 thing and be like, there you go. This is for your your year long birthday, not your weekly birthdays. <laughs> yeah, haven't haven't gotten anything in the recent. Yeah, I, I lost the bid. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So just quickly, what do you think about the the announcement? What were your first reactions? And you actually found out before me, which was uh, pretty cool. Yeah, I've actually been really out of the loop with uh, with news and stuff the last few weeks. There, I've been super busy. But yeah, I um, I just went on you know the usual sites there, um, just seeing if you know what was going on and whatever. And uh, I checked that out. I was like, oh, that's cool. Uh, I mean, I I can't. I'm not gonna lie and be like, oh yeah, greatest day ever. 
But uh, right away, the first thing I did was I texted you and I was like, hey, uh, did you hear that they're uh, remaking whatever and whatever? But no, I mean, I'm kind of, I'm not indifferent because I think it's actually really important for Nintendo right now to basically, um, well, to do stuff like this. I mean, the company is, uh, you know, not in the greatest shape, but their uh, their portable stuff has been just amazing. So I think this is actually a really smart move. But like you, I was also wondering, kind of like, not not so much that are they going overboard, but like I don't know. It's like it seems like we've had a hell of a lot of Pokemon over the last yeah. little while, and I just want to make sure that they don't do exactly like the Call of Duty syndrome where they just go overboard. But, I just uh, yeah, I, I fear a bit that it it might hurt X and Y's overall lifetime sales because X and Y were doing fantastic. I think they're already at thirteen million. If if I recall the last yeah, time. Yeah, it's something like, like that, yeah. And that's a game that's basically, what, six months old? It was released in October. So, anyway, it's it's not that old. It, it sold 13 million, so it could have reached possibly 20 million in its lifetime sale, which would have been fantastic because the highest-selling Pokemon game in a DS, which was Pearl and Sapphire, reached 18 or 17. So it would have out, out, outsold that. And usually franchise would... As years go by, they, they kind of decrease, and that would have been an uprising. So that would have been perfect. But now with Alpha, Sapphire, and uh, Ruby, uh, and Omega Ruby, it's, I don't think it will be able to reach 20 million. It will be hard, and I don't know. I just it's like when when they released New Super Mario Brothers 2 a few months after Super Mario 3, and it kind of it kind of uh, uh, doesn't let the game reach its full of potential sales. That's that's one of the worries I have with that. At the same time, it keeps it keeps things fresh. It keeps it going. The Pokemon community has never been that strong. If you follow YouTube, you'll see that there's so many more people uh, posting videos on, on Pokemon and hosting tournaments and stuff like that. Nintendo's think are actually embracing the community. They're not even they're not caring about all that uh, people like profiting off videos from their footage and not even caring about all those uh, fan-made Pokemon games and hacks. They don't even care about those. It seems that for some reason for Pokemon, they understand that all that stuff is is only going to help you in, in the long run. Well, yeah, you're absolutely right. That's exactly what it does. It, in the end, this all benefits Nintendo. So, yeah, man, that's good. I think that's pretty good right there. Yeah, it should be. And just quickly, I just wanted to say that... Uh, as a whole, the, the the original Ruby and Sapphire hold like are some of my favorites in the series, just because of what I mentioned before, and I just cannot wait to see because this is not going to be a normal remake. This is actually going to be a remake that's going to be made in 3D with the whole new graphic engine. So it's a huge step above from the other two remakes we got in the past. So this again should make history for Pokemon fans. Well, I'm sure you're going to be updating us as time goes on. And uh, I just wanted to say for anyone who watches this, uh, let us know what you guys think, not only of Pokemon, but of this platform. Like, do you do you enjoy this, where we show gameplay and the two of us, uh, you know, ramble on for a little bit? Uh, do you think this is awful? Uh, it would be good to know, uh, to get some sort of feedback from this. Uh, just to know if you guys do like this format, well, I guess Stephen and I could probably do this fairly frequently. I mean, it doesn't take long at all. The longest part is pretty much just capturing the footage, but uh, other than that, I mean, we've got the equipment. We can easily do these podcasts. I, I would say, my God, we could probably do these like two or three times a week, but I think more realistically, it would probably be like once a week. Yeah, sure. Probably. All right, guys. Well, uh, I guess that's it. So uh, thank you very much for watching. And, uh, yeah, leave us a comment. Let us know what you think. And um, that's it. Take care.